Many of us have been enjoying Halo multiplayer for a very long time. But what exactly is it that makes Halo multiplayer so much fun? Halo's gameplay definitely stands out amongst other first-person shooters. There is something special about Halo's gameplay that you cannot find in other games. But what exactly are those things? What makes Halo's multiplayer so great? Is it the gunplay? Is it the maps? Is it the game types? Or is it this? Many of us enjoy Halo multiplayer, but we don't all enjoy it for the same reasons. Halo's gunplay is really nothing special. Halo's maps are really cool. The game types are exciting. The medals are a really nice touch. But I feel that the most prominent aspects of Halo's multiplayer that makes it so enjoyable are the physics and the movement. Now, I'm sure some of you might be thinking to yourselves, well, that's a weird fucking thing to say. Yeah, the movement and the physics are cool, but that's not the main reason I enjoy Halo multiplayer. But just hear, hear me out on this. Halo is one of few multiplayer games where I can have fun in a game by myself. I can load up a custom game on Halo with nobody else in it and have a good time. And I know there's some of you who feel the same way. In Halo, you can have a good time by simply moving around the map. Whether that's by walking, jumping, crouching, or combining all three. And with some of the later Halo games with abilities such as Halo Reach, Halo 4, and especially Halo 5, there are so many additional ways to move around the map. And I'm someone who is not a fan of abilities in Halo 5, but I do admit that it can be fun to move around the map in Halo 5 using all of those abilities. Sprinting, sliding, thrusting, clambering, it may be a ton of fun moving around the map, combining all those different abilities. I still don't think those abilities are good for Halo with everything considered, but that doesn't change the fact that it is fun to use those abilities and move around the map for a lot of people. But like I said, even without the abilities, even in the classic Halo games, it is still a ton of fun just moving around the map. Like just jumping down any type of decline on a map and combining a crouch and a jump right when you land to propel yourself forward, something as simple as that is satisfying. Using a man cannon to fly across the map, or even jumping onto and off of little ledges that most people would not expect you to be able to stand on. Now these are just some really basic ways of moving around Halo multiplayer maps, but I think they can all be somewhat enjoyable when you combine them all together. I haven't even mentioned all the different trick jumps you can do, such as equipment jumps, icicle jumps, ghost jumps, or even combining multiple ghost jumps together. And a lot of the footage that I have shown and will be showing more of comes from a man who goes by the name of Clearly Me. And the reason I'm using so much of his footage is because his clips do a great job of encompassing exactly what I'm talking about when I refer to Halo's movement and its physics. I have seen a lot of Halo 3 trick jumping montages, but this guy, he's doing things that I didn't even know were possible. Like Halo 3 is a 13 year old game, and I'm learning new things from watching his videos. Like the other day, he put out a video on Twitter, and by the way, I recommend following this guy on Twitter and subscribing to his YouTube channel because literally almost every clip he posts, I'm just mind blown by it. And that is either because I had no idea that was possible, or I'm mind blown by how many attempts it must have taken him. But yeah, he put out this video a couple days ago, and it was called Fastest Solo Flag Routes on Heretic. And these flag runs that he pulls off <laughs> are, are just absolutely insane. And the quickest flag run that he did in that video, he said it took him 7.1 seconds. That's crazy. Now, yeah, some of these runs might be a little high risk, high reward, and it's also going to be pretty tough to pull these off for the average player. But regardless, these things can be done. I, and I'm sure many others, had no idea this was even possible to run a flag this fast on Heretic. And what I really want you guys to pay attention to is how he is flying across the map. He is getting from one side of the map to the other so quick. This looks like something you would see out of Halo 5. 
Like, it honestly does seem like a, a technique you would see in Halo 5 by sprinting, thrusting, sliding, clambering. But it's Halo 3. It's Halo 3, there's no abilities. And I want to make it real clear that a classic Halo game, like Halo 3, does have a good amount of depth to its movement. People act like classic Halo is slow and boring because you're just walking, you can't sprint, there's no abilities. Just, just look at these clips. Look at this shit. This is absolutely incredible. This is the true enhanced mobility. Because while he's doing all these things, he can still run the flag, shoot, throw grenades, turn around 360 degrees. He's not locked into an animation. Now, yeah, in a game like Halo 3, it might be more difficult and more of a risk to move across the map as fast as you can in a game like Halo 5. But in my opinion, that just makes it even better. Because then it's like, yeah, it's possible to get from point A to point B much faster by doing this, this, and that, but it also might be more of a risk and it might be more challenging. In a game like Halo 5, Halo Reach, or Halo 4, if you want to start moving faster, all you do is hold forward and press the sprint button. That's it. You just press a button and now you're just moving faster. You should have to earn that. If you want to cover more ground in a shorter amount of time, I think it should be more challenging and riskier like it would be in a classic Halo game. And also take notice how he uses these gravity lifts on Heretic to propel himself across the map. That was something I talked about in another video. In that video I talked about how I think it's a good idea to add things to maps such as gravity lifts or man cannons or whatever it may be as a way to add even more variety to Halo's movement. I think that would be much better than just giving players all these abilities. Abilities that you have at all times, that you spawn into the game with. Halo does not need that. Halo's movement is so special, and I don't think any other game nails it like Halo does. Especially Halo 3. Now that might be a little bias, because Halo 3 is my favorite game of all time, but I genuinely feel that the Halo 3 movement mechanics are the best in the series. But listen, it's not just about the movement that makes Halo's multiplayer so great, it's also the game's physics, and when you combine the physics with the movement, there's a lot of cool things you can do. Like for example, something pretty basic is a grenade jump. You can increase the altitude of your jump if you throw a grenade on the ground and jump just as that grenade is going off. This allows you to complete jumps that you normally wouldn't be able to make, as well as reach certain spots on the map that you wouldn't be able to get to with a normal jump. But it doesn't even have to be a grenade. You could do this with a rocket or any explosive weapon. You can also use fusion coils or other explosives on the map to launch yourself higher and further. This type of stuff is a lot of fun. Like for example, running at a plasma battery in Halo 3 and shooting it just as you jump over it and it launches yourself up in the air. To me, that is satisfying. You know what I mean? It's just fun to move around the map. Doing all these crazy jumps, launching yourself by shooting fusion coils or grenade jumping. And I haven't even mentioned vehicles yet. You could get in a mongoose or a warhog or whatever it may be, park it next to some fusion coils, throw down a grenade, get back in the vehicle, it explodes, it launches you across the map. That alone is just fun to me and I know it is for many others as well. Another fun thing to do with vehicles is driving a mongoose off a man canning. Or you could drive a mongoose up a hill, throw a grenade, brute shot the ground, and send yourself flying across the map. Halo's multiplayer is an incredibly fun experience for many different reasons, but I don't think it would be the same, I know it wouldn't be the same, if the movement and the physics weren't the way that they are. Just think about it. What if moving around in Halo was like Call of Duty? That is a disgusting thought. Very short jump height, you feel slower, more sluggish. Grenade jumping's not a thing. If Halo actually had Call of Duty's movement, just 
think about how much worse Halo would be. And obviously the movement isn't exactly the same in every Call of Duty game, but I'm thinking more of the boots on the ground, Modern Warfare 1, 2, and 3. Or take a game like Gears of War. <laughs> what if Halo's movement was like Gears of War? Hugging walls, can't even fucking jump. So if there's an obstacle in your way, you can't just simply jump over it. You have to press a button to vault over it. That would be terrible. <laughs> so I think we could all agree that Halo's movement is important. It's a very big part of the game. Like Halo weapons are cool, the maps are cool, the game types are cool, but the movement is extremely important in my opinion. We've talked about a bunch of different ways that players can traverse maps in Halo. But now I want to make a little comparison. In a game like Call of Duty, a boots on the ground Call of Duty, let's say you're standing on some type of object. It could be anything, some kind of crate, a car, whatever. And let's say there is another object in front of you. And you want to jump from the object you're standing on onto the object across the way. Now in that situation, to get from point A to point B, you really just have one option. You run and you jump. And if you can't make it to the other side, to point B, by doing that, then you're pretty much out of luck. It's not like you can grenade jump. Nah, that wouldn't help you. All you can really do is run and jump. That's, that's how you get from one side to the other in Call of Duty. And if that doesn't get you there, then you gotta find a different way. But in a game like Halo, you have many different options to get from point A to point B. So if you're standing on some kind of a ledge and you wanna make a jump over to another ledge or object, if by performing a basic jump doesn't get you to the other side, you're not out of luck. You're not out of options. You could grenade jump over to the other side. Rocket jump, a brute shot. Halo 3 is a game with equipment. You could use a grav lift. You could perform an equipment jump. You could destroy a turret and jump off the broken legs of the turret. You could throw a grenade at a cone or blow up the fusion coils next to it, send the cone flying, jump off of the cone. You can jump off of an icicle. You could shoot an explosive on the ground and use that blast to propel yourself even further. You see what I mean? Halo's movement is diverse. Its physics are unique. And I believe that is one of the main reasons Halo multiplayer is so much fun. Well guys, that's going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you agree or disagree with. I know not everyone is going to agree with what I had to say in this video and maybe I didn't explain it as best I could. But I think I got my point across and I stand by it. Anyways, as always, thank you for watching the video. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.